sorry about that, babe. All right, we're back with another unboxing, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the Final Fantasy Legend on the Nintendo Game Boy. Recently played through this game, hope to review it soon. Here's the box. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. You know, if I was a kid, I'd probably be like, yeah, I'm, I'm all about this, you know, building my own parties and stuff like that, some customization. And I do like the artwork for this. And on the inside here, we have the, uh, well, we got a couple things we're going to take a look at. First, we're going to look at the cartridge. Um, I believe the uh, holder that I just put to the side is uh, aftermarket, um, but everything else is legit. Uh, so we have the plastic holder, and then we got the Game Boy cartridge itself. This is an original copy. The battery backup still works. Again, pretty cool artwork there. I enjoy it. Paints the picture of the legend that is to unfold. And on the inside, we also have a poster. Pretty cool. Again, if you like this artwork, hang it up on the wall. And on the flip side, if you don't want to hang it up on the wall, you have some maps of the four main areas of the game that you will be traversing. The World of Continent, the World of Sky, which is actually the third area that you go to. Uh, over here, second area, the World of Ocean. And then the last area of the game is the World of Ruins. So it pretty much maps everything out that you would need to go to. Uh, nothing's labeled, but you could see everything, so... And now the star of the show, as is most of the cases, you know, with these old games, um... The manual. It is ginormous. It is a little, as you saw in the back there, it's a little water damage, and we're actually going to find that out as I flip through all the pages for the first time. I read this a little bit uh, before I started playing the game. Perhaps I should have read it more, because if anybody watched my playthrough, I actually had to do a reset early on, because I allocated some uh, some poor gold usage, to say the least. Um, but yeah, it goes over, like, obviously, you know, the story of the game, the controls, it breaks down the different classes, there's the human mutants and monsters. Um, you know, it gets really granular with stuff like naming your character. Um, but then it kind of gives you a little bit of, um, I don't know if you'd say, like, this section's not really, like, a walkthrough, but it gives you some really good tips on how to start the game, how they recommend that you build your party, how they recommend to not build your party. I couldn't even imagine doing four mutants or four monsters. That would be an interesting challenge run that I don't think I have the patience for. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's pretty much just going over pretty much everything you could want to know about, you know, should you run or fight? Uh, should you eat the meat that's left over? Where do you go when you die? So on and so forth. But like I mentioned, I read some stuff online that kind of read me... read me... led me astray. <laughs> um, too much reading, right? And I probably would have been better off reading this. But, uh, I didn't, and, you know, had to do my reset because of that. But, uh, yeah, it's just a wealth of knowledge and information. Um, I wanted to point out the fact, yes, save your game often, because, trust me, you're going to need to. I did a lot of save scumming throughout my playthrough because the random battles are very unforgiving. This never gets old, by the way. Submachine guns? Missiles? Isn't that funny? Uh, I mentioned in my playthrough, you know, Fantasy Star had, like, the laser guns and stuff, but... The fact that you could just use a fucking submachine gun in this game never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> um, yeah, just continuing on here about anything you could think of. You know, the monster's abilities going up and down, the party's different abilities. Uh, you know, there's, there's stuff in here that I didn't even get into in my game. I didn't even scratch the surface with how deep this game can go, honestly. Um, I just kind of stuck to my, my plan and stayed with it. And we're a couple pages in now, but I wanted to mention this is the typical thing that you get, you know, with RPGs of this era, especially Square, is uh, you get a walkthrough, essentially. Now, this one's a little bit different. Um, it's kind of... it's helpful. Um, it, it pretty much does point you in the direction that you need to go. But I, if I remember correctly, it's written in the perspective of a character. I don't have the instruction manual right next to me right now, but I think it was like... the character's name was like Eric or something like that. So it's sort of like, it's a walkthrough strategy guide up until a certain point, written from a perspective of a character, which is pretty interesting from like, you know, just a general like fantasy world building type of aspect. But in general, if I'm gonna use a strategy guide, I wanna use one that's written for you, the player, and not as a player in the game. Um, as you guys saw there a couple pages ago and right here, uh, some water damage, yes, unfortunately. Whoever got this from must have spilled something on it in the past, or was in a damp area. Some of the pages were sort of stuck together. Luckily, no damage, believe it or not. So, happy about that. But yeah, guys, it's like, shit, man. 
they just give you so much stuff back in the day and it's always a joy to look at so I'm, I'm hoping that you guys got some enjoyment out of looking at all this stuff that's the final fantasy legend stay tuned for a review